to welcome Eric and Stefan on stage, please. Have a seat. Please have a seat. Um, maybe you can introduce yourself and then tell us about why it clicked last time. You want to go? Yeah. Hello, I'm Stefan. Um, I live in Switzerland near Basel and I was, in, uh, I was invited from um, Andrea through LinkedIn last year and um, the last few years, actually eight years, I was fighting for startups to motivate private persons to invest and it, uh, I learned it the hard way to uh, reach success and if, I'm, if I join a startup to, uh, with a startup, I give the full commitment to stay till the success Till everyone agrees that there is no chance for success or till we reach success. And last year um, we met at a coffee machine and it clicked. I have to, I don't want to, uh, I just want to add, I mean, there is no way to not have success. <laughs> okay. So you see, he's got the red point, he's an investor, I've got the green point, I'm the startup. Uh, my name is Eric, founder and CEO of Greenstone Energy. I live in Switzerland, I work in Berlin. This is weird. I mean, we, we had a coffee and then suddenly the guy is from Basel, I'm from Peppicorn. Uh, and what he does is mobilize a lot of people to change uh, their philosophy, their way of life. And what we do, um, we actually bring the renewable energy from big funds to end customers. We also want to change the way that people consume energy. Uh, and we found a lot of similarities in our lives and also in, in our missions, what we like to do. And so, um, Stefan is the lead investor for our current round. It's coming together in the next couple of weeks, I would say. But Stefan also has so many different hats, and maybe you want to talk about your side projects. For one of these side projects, we actually signed a cooperation agreement today. Uh, and maybe you should introduce Zukunftsgenossenschaft. So here is Sesto, you can also talk to him today. When we met, um, maybe two years, two and a half years ago, uh, and he said, I have a vision about a global uh, cooperative, but if it's too much, you can stop me. And I said, okay, let's go. I, I, um, I have a, a huge capacity. And it, it also clicked between us. And um, I said, I want to bring my network of investors and also um, of uh, entrepreneurs into a platform and we created the future cooperative uh, because everyone um, can uh, bring in his potential, his uh, contacts, his funds of course, his knowledge, his experience and uh, so we started this platform, the future cooperative, it's a European uh, cooperative and um, yeah, we, well, we got registered after a long process uh, December last year and we are um, yeah, we make it known now and fill it up. And uh, what I'd like to just put in the room is like, uh, be open-minded. I mean, I didn't, when I went to Esmar and Green last year, I had no idea what it was, you know? I just went there. Uh, there was a talk about, really interesting scientific talk about Antarctica. There was a talk where I stumbled through my presentation, that was really awful. But I tell you, be open-minded. Just come to any kind of place and just talk to people. Be curious about them because if you're lucky, at the end of the day, you'll find a guy who's investing money in your company. And from a startup point of view, that's that's what it's all about. I mean, right now we're still cash flow negative, unfortunately, but we're looking forward to in 20, 24 months to be cash flow positive. We'll have this year two million revenues. Next year we should actually be at eight or nine million revenue level. So uh, our story is, makes a lot of sense. We're actually replacing the boring utilities like RWE, energy, and what have you. We're just replacing them. And on this trip that I, unfortunately going to take five or six years, you need people like Stefan, people who have your back, who really believe in what you're doing, support in the company, and people you can call at midnight or at four in the morning. And if you're lucky, he's going to take your call and he's going to give you good advice. I have a question about that, Eric. Uh, how did you actually approach him and convince him that he's going to invest in your company? Because uh, I think there are a lot of startups who want to know right? what's the trick. The trick is not to do it. So we we had we had an espresso and we talked about 
his biography a lot because I mean you want to maybe talk about this, but you you actually started in uh, a what's garden? Uh, garden business. In garden business, you know, and it's like wow. So I didn't say hey you're an investor because I had no clue. I mean we, I just had had in this press with this great gentleman and I was really interested. And then I said hey if you're next time in Berlin please drop by. He came by and it was like a five hour meeting where we actually went to finance and, and then all of a sudden you're like, okay, this guy is serious. He, he, he may want to invest. And this is, so don't pitch to an investor too early, seriously. Because they get, I, I've, I've been an investor seven years of my life. I work for a venture fund, I work for a family office. Investors get pitches all the time. So if, if you do it too, too intensely, I mean, people will, so we just had this nice chat about philosophy, about how life is an organism, these kind of things that have nothing to do with business. And I think that's maybe one advice I would give you guys. Be open-minded and when there's an opportunity, grab it, but don't really be only focused on this investor opportunity because there's so many other things out there. And you need, to, as, as a CEO of a startup, you need to focus on so many different things. Don't solely focus on, on investors. I think it's about relationships, mm -hmm. and I uh, felt that I can also have fun with Eric. So it's the it's the relationship uh, level which uh, first took my attention. What kind of startups are you looking for? Are you actively looking for something, or is it the founder who has to convince you, and then you're saying, ah, I might have 10 million in my bank account? For you? In general, I'm uh, open to everything. So there are a few things I would not invest, but um, so from everything which is uh, ethical, uh, matching my values. Um, actually, I'm hoping from one, uh, one contact to the other. So I, I want to build really what I call an organism. And sometimes you come from one person to the next person and it's a great opportunity and uh, this person needs a co-investor and uh, um, yeah, uh, it's interesting, so I'm not focused on any uh, segment. Is there any stage that you prefer? Um, no. no. Also not, then that's no. a good opportunity. Um, it just has to make sense for me, yet now talking about the future cooperative, um, we uh, like to um, invest in startups, um, and uh, so yeah, we are open for everything. I mean, just for my uh, uh, third party, so to speak. Um, Stefan in this, and also Sesto, in, in their qualities, they're more like Renaissance men who are really curious about a lot of things. And so I think it's really channel this curiosity. And, and this is whenever you pitch about something, don't think about too much about your product or don't think too much about your company. Think about the audience. Think about what you'd like to achieve in the other person. Um, and so pitching quite often is, here I have a product, I have this, and I sell, and, and quite often it's the other way around. Think about, for instance, um, um, I, I don't want to talk about the, 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 the many things that you do, but I mean, it's really impressive because I, it's not just renewable energy. And the people, uh, people that I typically talk to as investors are typically people who are focused on renewable energy or, or this niche or that niche. And, and Stefan definitely is not. So I'm really glad that Andrea kicked off this Smart Green last year. And we really want to support this community. We believe it can be a community of like-minded individuals who really want to bring change to the way how we live, we want to improve the way how we live because we are not sustainable and... Please finish, no problem. Oh, I should have one minute. And, and, and it's really important to get back on the path to sustainability. And companies with good ideas need investors with, uh, with a good grasp on what makes sense and what doesn't. Any last remarks, Sharon? No. Thank you very much. A big applause. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. What will we do without 